Hey everyone, it's Vitasta. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another monthly favorites video. I know you have been waiting for it. Don't lie. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. You can check out more of my videos and if you like them, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because you know that would mean a lot to me. And if you are an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You know that everything I do is for you. So let's talk about September. September is the ninth month of the year and it's the month of Virgo and Libra. <laughs> Wrong. September is the worst month ever. I'm so sorry, September bonds, but it's literally the worst month ever. Maybe it's just me, but this month has been the worst month this year. Mental health wise, ever since the month has started, nothing has went right for me. Everything is just so messed up. Well, for starters, the reason that I solely came to Mumbai for it didn't happen everything was scrapped one after another like a dominoes game everything just went you know sliding off of my life but your girl is holding up very well everything has a good and a bad side so i kind of did have fun this month mumbai is not really that bad i do have a lot of things that went well this month and that's what this video is going to be about thank you My skincare favorite for this month has to be the Dove Dio range. I have been using it for a while and I can perfectly say that this is suiting me so much because I used to be like not a deodorant person. It's not like I smell or something. I just uh, fear deodorants because I thought they actually ruin your skin. But this is truly different. I think we'll all agree that we and our mothers have been really big fans of the Dove products over the years. And Dove deodorants as well just serve what they are supposed to serve. Our underarms are supposed to be the same color as the rest of our body but over the years with excessive use of chemicals and shaving and hair removal methods that area can turn darker than the usual color. It's actually very common to have dark underarms and I feel that we should not be you know inconfident or feel insecure about it because literally everyone faces the same issue and most of us just really don't take proper care of our underarms like it's kind of an ignored part so instead of being you know shy about it we should try and take delicate care of them instead and try to restore their original color so that it matches with the rest of our skin and the skin tone is improved my hair removing method is using a razor because it's very quick and i'm very lazy and razor is literally all that i use so because of that my underarm skin had become kind of darker over time and that is one of the reasons i used to stay away from deodorants but after a lot of research i found out that dove deodorants have one fourth of moisturizing cream and caring oil that helps to restore the even tone of your underarm skin and as you can already see there are little to no dark marks remaining in my arms dove deodorants come in four exciting variants the spray on dio comes in a classic dove original and a dove even tone dio which has a pink cap and each of these spray on dios have their own roll on variants as well the dove even tone roll on dio is my favorite among all of these you can use this after taking a shower it's so easy to apply and it stays up to 48 hours what else do you want another reason to love dove deodorants is that they are 100 percent alcohol free paraben free and dermatologically tested and they are very much safe to use for daily use and by that i mean the skin does not feel itchy or irritated after you apply these deodorants. i have even used them after shaving and it didn't you know burn my skin and above everything the weather in india is always so hot and sweaty i really do not like it i've said that multiple times on this channel and feeling fresh all day is actually really important to me and that means smelling good dove deos have this really mild and pleasant fragrance that is not too strong on your senses so in conclusion dove deos make me feel fresh all day there is little to no body odor coming from me and the darkness in my underarms has also considerably reduced a lot so i really thank them for that and they are rightfully my favorite skincare product of the month i highly recommend you all to try the dove deodorant range you can check the link in my description
My favorite makeup product of this month has to be the Blur Mascara. It's called I Tend to Lash Out. That's a very cool name. First of all, uh, it has a very minimalistic package thing which reminds me very much of Glossier products. One thing I love about the mascara is that the wand is very thick. Like it's a very fluffy brush. Plus the formula is very light and thin I feel. And it's very good if you're going with a natural look it's not like those mascaras which make your lashes go woo. if you're going for like a little natural thing no makeup makeup thing i have applied it right now and it doesn't feel heavy or anything it just feels like i've applied nothing on it which is why i love this mascara go girl give us nothing <laughs> in a good way When I came to Mumbai and I was pretty sad at the start of the month and I was like, okay, maybe shopping will heal me. But I was not allowed to go into the malls because I have only got the first dose of vaccine and they are not allowing us to go inside the malls. <laughs> So I uh, did the second best thing that is online shopping. I found some really nice pieces from H&M and Zara but I'm gonna show you like three because those are my favorites for this month. The first one is this crop top, this sea green crop top. My obsession with sea green has not ended yet. This is so not my style. It has a very deep and deepish neck and it's really short. It's a crop top. I'm still not too comfortable in my body, like uh, my body weight or whatever. But I got it because I wanted to kind of upgrade my style and have more things than just t-shirts. It makes me feel like one of those girls. You know those girls who are really stylish and they are, you know, it girls and they are the best dressed. Also best dressed. Yeah, she would wear that. She would definitely rock this. So yeah, that was the reason I bought this because I wanted to look cooler. <laughs> and how can I not get a t-shirt? This is a super, super oversized t-shirt. It's a small size t-shirt and I can fit two of me inside it. Like it's so large. It says New York Jets. I don't know what Jets is, probably some of their basketball team or whatever. Really do not care. It kind of looks like a college merch. You know what I mean? Those gray shirts which have Howard written on it. It's super large, it's super comfy. I would wear it all the time if I could. And the next one is this amazing piece of uh, denims from Zara. I love Zara denims. They are superior in my opinion. Also, these are my first pair of high waist wide leg jeans that is like really trendy right now. It's my first pair of that and I'm super excited. But I can't wear it yet because I have to get it altered. And once I get it altered you are not going to see me wearing anything else i'm gonna wear the hell out of these jeans there is one playlist on spotify that i am obsessed with and it's the never have i ever playlist never have i ever is a show on netflix by mindy kaling i love mindy kaling from the office kelly kapoor is literally my favorite character i'm kelly kapoor the business bitch. After Michael. It's Britney, bitch. That show was actually so sick. I was addicted to it and I'm Team Paxton, by the way. Nobody asked. She has used some really, really good popular and unpopular songs on that series. And I immediately thought that maybe they have a playlist. And I went on Spotify and I checked and they did have a playlist. And I'm obsessed. It's kind of, you know, house music and also indie, bedroom pop, that kind of music. Then coming to my favorite song of the month is definitely Heat ways by glass animals yes this song is on the never have ever playlist but how i discovered it is through tiktok so miss taylor swift is on tiktok as you might know and she is very active there she makes a lot of tiktoks almost every two weeks she posts something and she also goes on and likes and comments on fans TikToks and I think if I was on TikTok she would have definitely given me a notice so that's kind of you know a big tragedy going on in my life right now so she posted this TikTok with this song and I immediately loved it so much sometimes I think about it 
Another song I really really loved this month is Reckless by Madison Beer. This ballad is so beautiful. The lyrics are not that complex but you know the music, the melody is so beautiful and sad. How could you be so reckless with my heart? And not to mention, Miss Taylor Swift has released Wildest Dreams Taylor's version. So please do not forget to stream it instead of the older version because it's literally everywhere on Reels, on TikTok. And it's such a classic song. It has raised a whole generation. Surprisingly, this month to get distracted from all the chaos going on in my life, I watched a lot of shows. I completed Backstreet Rookie. I started with Sex Education Season 3, finished Never Have I Ever, both seasons. And recently, I finished Squid Game. And easily, easily Squid Game is the best thing I have watched this month. No, it's the best thing I have watched this year. Guys, if you haven't watched Squid Game, stop it. Stop delaying it before you know it gets out of proportion and you keep seeing spoilers everywhere just watch it and get it done with it is such an insane show it's a k-drama and I am so glad that people are actually starting to appreciate Korean cinema and Korean dramas it's similar to when Parasite was getting an Oscar and everyone was like Parasite 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 and now everyone is like Squid Game this show is about a lot of people who enter in a survival game kind of thing who play games and people get eliminated a few people in the end will win a huge cash prize all these people are really majboor and they have debts and loans on them and they have a kind of really miserable life so it's kind of like they're forced to you know either play this game or you know live your shitty life it's uh, 18 plus because it has a lot of violence and blood and all of that and if you're not into that i don't know don't watch it i guess but if you are 18 plus, go and watch the show right now. Some of you in my August favorite video said that I should mention favorite things that I did this month and stuff. So the favorite things that I did this month was not lose my mind. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. I actually went out with a friend. We went to the beach and everything to basically, you know, shoot videos and vlog and stuff. I have a vlog. Actually, a pretty cool weekend. We had a lot of fun. We went to the beach. We had a lot of weird encounters with creepy old men. And I got scammed by little kids. Ruined my shoes with charcoal. But it was kind of nice. So that's how my month overall went. I hope the rest of the year has nicer things to throw at me if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like on this video and comment below whatever you want and you're free to comment anything and if you have done all that please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that would mean the world to me thank you so much for watching this video i will definitely see you next time till then take care and bye